Okay. I cast up. Cast up. Good morning, everybody. Careful. Today, we are going to do our very first real job with Baron. Baron is our three-year-old Suffolk Colt Punch Stallion. And we've been doing quite a bit of training with him over the last few months, but it's just driving him around. Well, today, we're gonna hitch onto the sled and actually take some hay out to the cows. So this will be the, actu the first actual work where he's going to be accomplishing something in the process of training, which is quite exciting when we get to that point with any of the horses when we can actually do something that's, uh, you know, amounting to something other than just exercising. So we're gonna hitch on to my work sled, my scoot. Did you say who else you have with you? I don't think you did. I don't know if I did. So Ken oh. is with Baron. <clears throat> oh. Ken is with Baron today. Oh. <sighs> We have just finished a stretch of very, very, very windy and cold weather. It's finally, the wind has finally slowed down. So it's much more pleasant outside. It's about 20 degrees right now, I guess. So I'm just hitching up Baron's neck yoke and I'm gonna swing the rope over here and tie him. It's been several days since we've worked him, so. Better safe than sorry. <laughs> After I get the neck yoke hitched up, I'll come around and hitch up the evener. And uh, I'll explain a couple things even on my sled in a second. As usual, oh, not bad. Quite often the chains are froze pretty bad into the ice and snow, but not bad. Oh, Baron. Come here, come. Oh. Hey. Happy. Happy, come. Oh. 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 No. Oh. Back Baron, back up here, back up here Baron. Oh, good boy, good boy. Did you see how he backed up? Mm -hmm. That was pretty good. He's learning. And he's also standing in so much better today. Yep. He's been swinging his butt out right from the start so much today. I didn't even have to pull him over. He's right here in place. So that's really, really good. On. Oh, of course he's tied and that's a good thing but uh, I won't time a second. But I want to show you something here. As you can see, this is a steel, uh, a, a sled, so it's got runners, but on the bottom, it has a steel shoe. And being steel, that will freeze really easily to the snow and ice. So what I like to do with this is one of two things. When I hitch up, I'll take something and pry underneath the runners to break the runners free to make sure they're not frozen. in. We had a lot of rain, and snow and wind and cold over the last few days. So the chance of it frozen to the ground are fairly high. But what I do is I will, uh, I will put one by fours underneath the runners. So when I slide on, the runners slide up on top of that, the wood and it's much, much, much less chance of it freezing because of that. But as I can see the last time I pulled in here, oh guys, these one by fours, I just have two of them here and they kind of slid ahead. So the front is off the ground. You can see the steel of the runners, of the shoes. But back there, it does not look like it's 
it was up enough so it looks like it's frozen in. So because of that, I do not want to ask these horses to pull if, it's, if, the, the things, if everything's frozen in. What's going to happen? Several things is going to happen. It discourages a horse tremendously by pulling something that they can't budge. Also, if they pull really hard, things break really easy in a situation like this. So what I'm going to do, because of, I'm concerned about that, about that, I'm going to try to get one of my stakes loose if I can. And even that's difficult because it's frozen also, but this one comes out. So I will come up here and just see if I can't make sure this runner is free. So having that long pipe like this, it gives me lots of leverage. And as I lift it up, I can see it moving all the way down through there. So now I'm going to do the other side. And as long as I can see it move, it should be okay. So it all moved. So now I will hitch, I will hopefully drive right out of here. Isn't he one smart cookie? I would have, um, I would have probably banged on it to loosen it up. Because banging on stuff does help, but it also breaks things. But anyways, good job. Um, now, would you do that if, if it was two seasoned horses still? Oh, absolutely. But you got to think ahead and have that underneath there. They have to pull up yeah. on it. Yeah. And, and that, that's a really, really good way to do it. Uh, I think I've showed you before on my, my sled that I do for sleigh rides. I will pull up onto wood with that also. Cast that. All right. Off they go. G, 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 G. Ho, ho, ho. Um, I think, ho, 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 ho. I think it was about my last video. Ho, can, ho. Ho, oh, jump up on here, brother. Ho. Oh. I tapped out. Careful. I think it was in my last video, we showed that little bit of a sore on Baron's hind leg. And by turning really sharp right here with this sled, it's that's possibly where it happened. Because that is, until a horse gets used to it, they will rub against that pole pretty hard sometimes. So what I'm going to do is pull up, actually I think I'm gonna go around the driveway once. Put him across the black top again. We haven't, he's not used to that. We've only done that once. And I gotta be very cautious because this morning being the first ride out um, for several days since he's worked, um, he has more energy and he's gonna be more spooky. So when he hears the, the runners on the black top, it's definitely gonna spook him. Ken also seems kind of high energy yeah. this morning. Yeah. When you don't work much, and they spent a lot of the time the last two or three days in the barn because of the raining weather, it was so miserable. Brenda had asked me this morning about, because of the ice, she was concerned with Baron's footing. And I'll try to talk about that after I get her off the blacktop. Hang on, hang on tight. Hang on tight. Careful. 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 How's it, Harvey? Yep. Careful, walk, Dad. Okay, so just a quick little talk about horses with shoes and without shoes. Now Ken has good shoes with drill techs on the, on the bottoms of them to give them really good traction. So he does not slip much at all. Baron has no shoes at all. So he is going to be one to be doing some slipping. Years ago, I can remember my father talking about it, this and saying that if you're going to work a horse barefoot, 
just make sure he stays barefoot type of thing because as soon as you put shoes on a horse they tend to be less sure-footed if you go barefoot again uh, I, I guess that's probably because of the fact that with the shoes on they're, they're pretty confident in their footing but then they go without shoes and then it's even worse oh so let me tie baron i just give a close-up if there's anybody new to the channel of um what it, the shoes look like okay. you can see they're almost like high heels sorry about the manure under there come here give me a little bit oh of course here's baron without his shoes I have a, a rope. Broke, broken. I have a rope frozen. that I, I have a rope that I leave here, which is great, except for the snap itself will freeze up, cause trouble. But we got her. Come here, a little bit, Ken. See, tapping does help sometimes. Come here, Baron. Baron, a little bit, a little bit. Baron, come up here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh. Okay. Let's go get some hay. Okay. So we need five bales that I want to take out to feed the cows. And um, we feed, we haven't, this is the first time we've actually fed outside this year. Um, but we generally feed inside the barn. And we feed twice a day. So this will be for this morning's feeding. Um, we also need like eight bales of hay for the horses. So we'll throw that down also. Okay, so we have our five bales on. Huh? Got that. The other day, um, before we got all that rain and warm weather, uh, I took these guys with just the empty sled partially out through the field to where we we're going to be feeding hay because I knew I wanted to do this. And uh, it, it went well. There was a lot of snow at the time, so it was kind of hard going, but it went well. But now we lost a tremendous amount of that snow, but now we have ice. And as I look out into the field where we're headed, I see a tremendous amount of ice out there that the water just overflowed the banks of ditches and whatnot. And we have a lot of ice in the field. And we don't know, I'm assuming that ice is frozen hard and the water down below is not running, but I don't know that. So I don't know if we'll be able to stay on top of the ice, if we'll break through. Oh, what kind of troubles we'll get into. Hopefully not too many troubles. It does look like a large amount of water out there. Well, we shall soon find out. <clears throat> and then we had um, snow again on top. So there's a, a little bit of a layer of blown snow everywhere as well. 
Just so barely see my trail. track. See my track from there? Yeah. That's where I went the other day. But that's such a wider body of ice and whatnot. I'm thinking straight ahead. It's a lot narrower section. And so I think I'll cross at that point. And I can kind of tell by the looks of it that it's actually frozen hard. So I don't think... I'll be surprised if we break through. And if we do, it's not like it's deep. It's just a nuisance. Right. It's a little bit ripply, so hopefully it won't be too slippery. I'm a poet and I didn't know it. Careful, careful, careful guy. Careful, 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 careful. Oh dear. Careful, 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 careful. Oh. Yikes. Oh. Let's watch that again. Careful, careful, careful. Oh dear. And let me explain what happened. You probably saw what happened, obviously, but, but because that was just so slippery for Baron, oh, oh, guy. Fortunately, for because Ken had his good ice shoes on, oh. He was able to support them and I, I chose not to stop him. I just kept right on rolling. As you can see, he actually, Ken actually pulled him across the ice. And so now, oh, as I continue on, I'm gonna try to even find better spots to stay out of that icy stuff because it's just so bad. All right, careful step. Careful. Go ahead and jump on, brother. So now I'm just staying as much off the ice as possible. And if it's a, just a narrow strip of sorts, I'm gonna put Baron on the snow and, and Ken in the iciest part because he can, he, he can handle it better. Well, that was a good experience for Baron, as frightening as it must have been. And Ken. <laughs> oh, Ken too, yes. But Ken had the footing, so he was fine. You know, <clears throat> It's such a nice day compared to what we've had, but that wind is still cold. Yes, it is cold. It's uh, 20 degrees out Fahrenheit, but of what the wind chill temperature is, I don't know. So our cow is way down there, and this will be the first time that we fed hay out here this winter. So we've done this before, but I'll have to holler to them and hopefully they'll yeah, come in. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. I'm a little concerned where the gate is. That looks icy there, too. I don't like that. So when we get down there, Brenda, I'm gonna have to have you go open up that gate wide open. Yeah, I see it. And then I'll see what I can do. Yeah, it's like an icy area. It does. Can we be like the wise men and go home a different way? <laughs> yeah, we might. <laughs> Although it's I sometimes don't... it's bad, sometimes it's not. Oh, all right. Go down, open that gate up. I'll get it way out of our way. Look at this. Yeah, that's good. It's wet. In a sense, underneath. Come on, come on. Oh, oh, oh. Very slippery. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. I, I got an idea, Brenda. Okay. Um. It looks like it's better way, way up. And maybe okay. I can just disconnect the fence and walk, go through that way since you're disconnected there. Leave that right there. Leave it. What do you want me to do? Uh, walk up the fence row, probably. Okay. Can we G around here? G, 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 G,
Oh. Brandon, just come right here. Just up. Just up. So I'm hoping and thinking that maybe we can just disconnect the fence right there and kind of kitty corner down through there. Oh. Hey. You just stand here and hold down for a second. They should be fine. Oh, I passed out. Gee. Making a wide Gee. turn. Gee. Careful. There's a will, there's a way. Yeah, all this different noises and everything is good for bearing too, right? Oh, absolutely. Now he's got the big snow here. Well, it's not that big, but it's... Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. My plan was to feed hay way up here. But I gotta get the cows up here. Come on, come on. We'll get a little closer, then we'll feed down there. And then my plan is to continue feeding hay out here whenever I'm not in the woods logging. I will take the time to do it this way using barren. And what that will do is spread the manure around in this field since they'll have to come up here for hay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. I'm scaring barren when I'm hollering like that. They're all mooing over there. We just come on. Come on. Easy, guys. I don't really want you to run. I don't want them to run, but I, I'm glad that Baron wants to run. That he has that kind of energy. Come on, come on, come on. I think as soon as they start throwing the hay down. They'll probably come. I'll go get close to the gate. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Of course, it looks like they got to cross that ice also. Got to think about them too, yeah. But they got to go for water anyway. So. This is the opening. Oh. See that? Hey, now they're running. Yeah. Be careful, cows, coming across this. Cast up. Gives them a lot of stop and start. Oh. Which is good learning too. dare to come across. I cast out. Come on, oh. come on. So there's several things that I really like about feeding hay like this for the horses. 
it, uh, it teaches them to start and stop a lot. So I'm going a little ways and I stop and I'm feeding them another bale and I go ahead and uh, cut that. Those things are really, really good. Oh. I'm not sure if the cows are scared to go across that little bit of ice there or I if think so. Just scared of the horses out here. Oh. But they'll come across eventually. And the next time they'll be right here all around us when we're feeding probably. So we are all done, but we gotta go all the way up there, hitch the, that fence back up as it can, and then, then shut the gate still. Cuffs up. Cuffs up. I'm going to be ready for a hot beverage by the time we get home. Yep. So this is, so far, a successful feeding with the, with the two horses. And uh, hopefully the cows can get across that ice all right. It's not that bad, so I can't imagine them not. Well, we can keep an eye on them if do something different if they won't cross. Yep. So we've got one more thing to do with these guys today, this morning. We have sleigh rides this afternoon. So we're going to go down in a little bit to the cabin and get the fire going. So the cabin's toasty warm for our, our visitors. I just want to show you guys how much Baron is driving behind right now. This this snow is hard walking for a young horse like this. And uh, so he is definitely hanging back a little bit. Swap sides for understanding his legs. So, so I can stand over here by doing this, puts more pressure on Ken. And they walk together a little bit better, but I'm not expecting perfection at this stage. And uh, Baron is doing just fine the way it is. Ken's a little bit anxious here. Oh, they're starting to sink through right here. Yeah. It's muddy under there. It is. Crazy weather. Oh. Oh. Let's hold that. Let me close that gate. I cast out. Okay, that gate has to be shot. I just think they're going back. I know. I can't believe how freezing it is out. Even though the wind yeah. has died down a lot, it's freezing. Let's see if you go right into it like this. Let me just run up there and yep. close it. Oh. Hey. 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 So we'll talk about the cross this wet hole again. If we can get across this wet hole. <laughs> hope go way above and hopefully it'll be all right up there. Because that's a ditch. A good ditch, so I think it'll be fine. It'll be a lot narrower section. left right here is where we came through that chunk of ice there we're not going to go back there again if we can help it and it looks like way up on the edge of the field that there's a lot of snow right there 
and that's more of a, a steeper part of the ditch. Uh, actually, that's that's kind of a ditch right there because then it's all, there's a tile there underground, and, and must be just could not handle it all, obviously. And that's why water's all over the place. But I can see up there that it might be a little bit rough, but at least it won't be icy or so bad. Oh. This is one of those times when I wish I had been closer. We always have to choose where we're going to be, but it would have been good to be on the sled because there was an event. No problem. They did sink through pretty deep, but that's okay. Well, that's what I could see Baron what all the way in here. It was pretty far down. So, Barry's having quite the experience today. I got us out. I don't think I've ever seen Baron have so much spring in his step as he does today. He's acting almost like a mature, trained horse. Look at that evening right now, right together. Just the way I like to see it. Sometimes it's even ahead of can. Cheek, cheek, cheek. Push them over again, that's the boy. <laughs> you want to go the other way, apparently. Huh? You want to go the other yeah. way. Uh, we'll go this way. <laughs> Ken's like, get out of my way. It takes a long time for a young horse to, to really get the hang of turning on this big long sled. It's easy for Ken to drag him to the left than it is to push him to the right. You gotta make a really wide turn with this too. Yes. Yeah, you do. I noticed that when in the field that you had to really go out and turn. It's been a rough time with the driveway. Jim plowing and everything too. With a, we, we basically had a, a flash freeze when everything was so wet, everything so rough. Oh. Okay. Well, it's been a good day. This is evening now, of course, and. Uh, we had a good day with, with Baron and then with the blacks on our sleigh ride. We, we ended up taking um, Baron and Ken out after we fed the hay and out to the cabin and Brenda needed to start the fire in the, in the cabin. So she did that while she's doing that. I was going around the, the trails. Um, and we didn't know this, but we haven't been on the trails for two days now. And the drifts out there were terrible. I was very surprised how bad they were. But I was also very, very pleased at how well Baron did it. Some of these drifts were right to their bellies. And they just powerhouse their way right through these drifts. I wish I had it caught it on camera, but I wasn't expecting to do, to do a video on, on that. But I do wish I had my camera out there because it was, in my opinion, fairly impressive the way he went through those drifts. And he really got quite a workout today. And then we took the two blacks out in the afternoon and, and gave rides. And so the one ride we gave, um, we were surprised and pleased to actually get a present from them. They had this all wrapped up. So this came from the Parnaby family right here, local family that's come on a ride several times 
um, throughout the years. And uh, they've always enjoyed themselves greatly down in the cabin. And they even got to use the skating pond a little bit today, although it was not the best, but they surely did seem to have fun on it just the same. And so they made this picture. I mean, this is a picture of the horses, of course, and they made it, put it up in this frame, and I'm just very thankful. So thank you very much, Ken and family, for this picture, and uh, I very much appreciate it. And so I hope uh, you guys enjoyed this video, and you have a great day.